Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at four different ways that we can use mask animations for our text layers. This is more of a tips and tricks video to help you improve your After Effects techniques. So let's go ahead and jump in here and see what we can do. So when we want to animate text on or we want to do some separate text animation, masking can be a very powerful way for us to create some nice animation. So let's go ahead and take a look at my first one, which will be this nice way to split up text and animate it in separately. So this is very easy to do. All we have to do is grab our rectangle tool here and we can do this vertically or horizontally. And I'm gonna do it horizontally here. And we just wanna drag out this nice little rectangle box like this to where we only have a portion of our text here. Then what we wanna do is go up to edit, duplicate, and we'll come over here, hit M on our keyboard for mask and we'll grab a mask one over here, hit V on our keyboard to bring up the selection tool and we'll come over here and we want to just drag on to the next part of the text just like this and of course this one will make a little bit more what I would consider thin alright that's not bad and to continue this even further we'll duplicate this again hit M on our keyboard for mask 1 or for mask and we'll bring this over here and we have our mask just like this and we'll continue to do this and we'll continue to duplicate each of these layers here until we have filled up our entire mask uh, all the way across our text like this and now we have our text completely broken up onto separate layers so now we can do some nice position animation by hitting p on our keyboard for position add a keyframe for it and we can move all these keyframes forward in time if we want so maybe it's like a second and a half two seconds and then we'll come over here and we'll start messing with the y position or the x position if you did this from more of a horizontal perspective and we can now split apart our text and animate it in separately so now we come through here we have this animation here and I would make all the last keyframes here, easy ease keyframes, and then we can offset the layers if we want to kind of make the animation just a little bit more random than what it is now. And now we run through this again and now we have our text in here and that's one way that we can use mask and of course turn on motion blur for this. Let's move on to our second example here. I've done a tutorial on this before, but this is pretty awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break apart specific pieces of the text. And obviously this is very easy, but we can also animate it as well. So what you can do is grab your pen tool and let's say we want to cut off the top of this K here. Just come over here and draw out a mask like this onto your text. Then obviously you can't see the K layer. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is duplicate this layer, hit M on your keyboard on the bottom layer and click on subtract. Okay, so if both layers here, you can see that the K is gone. If we turn our layer back on, we can now see the uh, top part of the K. So we wanna continue this and continue to break this part. So maybe we'll do like the bottom part of the R here and we'll break this part here and set this to subtract. And then once again, we'll duplicate this layer. And then what we wanna do is delete the original mask and set it to add. So you can see here, we just have the R. So now we can animate this separately. But before we do that, I wanna grab the pan behind tool and grab say this R here. So now we can grab the anchor point and put it on top of our bottom R here. And then we hit uh, you know, uh, P for position and R for rotation, add a keyframe both of those and move them forward in time. We can move it down a little bit and also rotate it. And it's gonna rotate at the anchor point and that's gonna look pretty nice. And we can continue this with the next part of uh, the other break here. And that easy, we're able to break apart our text and make it look cool. Moving on to our third mask technique, this is what I would consider more of a mask transition. And it's pretty cool, a little bit interesting here. And what we're gonna do is just we're gonna grab the rectangle tool or any other shape you know, tool that you want to use and we'll come over here just draw a thin mask like this and we'll come over here duplicate this layer hit M on our keyboard for the mask delete the original mask and we'll come over here and continue to draw a mask like this and I keep saying come over here but hey whatever let's go ahead and duplicate this layer hit M on our keyboard for mask one or sorry from original mask delete that mask and we will do a top portion here and we'll duplicate the layer again hit M delete the original mask and finish it up. So basically what we're doing is we're just filling in the mask and trying to do it the best as I can here. And that's pretty cool. So now what we want to do is add a keyframe or just hit M on your keyboard to bring up all the mask paths. Add a keyframe for mask path. Make sure these are forward in time. And then we'll grab say mask one over here. Just hit V on your keyboard for the selection tool. And we'll make sure to grab the entire mask layer. Bring it over here. Go to the next one. Grab the entire mask, mask layer. Bring it up over here mask three and actually we'll go ahead and shorten this up a little bit so we can have a little bit of difference there move this say maybe over here and grab the last one and move this over here so now we come through here 
This mask kind of gets split together more in a controlled fashion. Of course, make the last keyframes all easy ease. Turn on motion blur and you can go ahead and offset these as well. So we just have a little bit of randomness here. So that's, that could be really cool. All right, so moving on to the last technique here, and this is probably my favorite one here, and it's very cool, a lot of cool techniques in this one. So this technique is very similar to the original, you know, positioning one that we did. We want to create a horizontal or vertical mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy these real quick. So like before, we have our entire text broken up into separate layers with the rectangle mask, just like we did in the first masking technique. And what I want to do this one is I want to do specific rotations. So I kind of want this one to build up on each other, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the pan behind tool. We're going to go to our first mask, which will be on the left side here. And we're going to grab the anchor point and we're going to move it over to the actual mask here. And we'll continue to move, do this for all the layers. Let's move it all the way over to the left one. For the first one, it needs to be on the right side. And the other ones, they all need to be on the left side of the mask. Just right on top of that point there. And continue to work at that. So all, all my layers have the anchor point on the left side of the mask and now it's time to do rotation. So make all these layers 3D layers and hit R on your keyboard for rotation and add a keyframe for Y rotation and then just hit U on your keyboard to bring up the, you know, the single keyframes there and we'll move all these keyframes forward in time and now what we can do is edit the rotation to about 90 degrees for each of these to really we're at the point where it's kind of lined up at our own views where we can't see it. So now you look at this one, you know, this kind of rotates on like so, and we'll continue to do this for each of them. So maybe we'll bring this keyframe over a little bit. So right at, you know, 16 frames, we can rotate on the other one, which will rotate this one backwards to right there. And we'll drag the endpoint in for the second layer here to the first keyframe. So now this builds on, second one comes up like this. And what we're gonna wanna do is put this layer underneath the first layer here. Go to our third layer here, and we'll edit the rotation, do the same exact thing. So right there, bring the endpoint in, go to our fourth layer, bring this to the bottom, move the last keyframe over, and we'll continue to do this all the way through. And now we should have what I call a very nice staircase animation for our text here. So I hope you were able to take away a cool few masking techniques from this After Effects tutorial. And if you did enjoy the video and learned a few things, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos just like this, and please be sure to check me out on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video. And always be creating.